Hey, how's it going? Come on in. Thanks for coming over. Let me show you my place. I don't know much about this. It's old. It's expensive. This guy is Solomon. I call him that because he likes his salmon. Now this guy's made out of Brazilian soapstone. He's carved by a very good friend of ours, Vance Thoret. Another good friend of ours, John Einerson. And it just reminds me of Vancouver Island out by Tofino. Kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, like Cabo, except for the trees, but I love the ocean. the living room. This is a painting by another good friend of ours, Mr. Brent Hyten. Love this work of these totem poles out on the west coast of Canada. Beautiful. We love art. I guess I have a thing for bears. It's bear number two. And here's bear number three. We're pretty big fans of taking it easy and just relaxing. So our couch is this leather larger set that uh, two of us can lay down on and chill out, watch a movie. So this is another nice little spot where I do most of my reading. We have a 60 inch plasma with an Apple TV. We have this Bose sound system, just sounds amazing in this room. Sometimes we do a little old school gaming with this. It's not real, it's just a simulated Atari 2600. All the games, it's fantastic. Love this fireplace. If we want, we can heat pretty much the whole house because it is this loft style. And that means all the heat just goes up. I can just turn on this fan, circulates all the air, all the warmer goes up. Genius. Back in the early 90s, we started collecting these carved crystal. We haven't continued to collect it, but we still have it. This is Sassy. She is a very, very good girl who needs a haircut, but because of the pandemic, no one can get a haircut. Lots and lots of comfy pillows and warm and soft blankets. It curves and this glass is curved. If it ever broke, I have no idea we'd ever be able to find anything like that. We have a ton of crystal for some reason. All of our fancy parties. And here's some more of those carvings I was talking about. Buffalo. We're gonna have a couple drinks up here. We've got a wide selection of different kinds of booze. Even an old school seltzer bottle. And we like to take care of our little dog water filter fountain for them and it does help them drink more water, which is a good thing. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you would have seen all kinds of cooking videos. But we love this kitchen. Let me give you a little tour. Got an old school gas stove and a new school Panasonic microwave. This microwave is awesome, by the way. Like just push like sensor and everything heats up perfectly. And it's a big fan, so it sucks up all the smoke. This Breville Smart Oven. It is as good or better than almost any oven. It's small. So, you know, if you don't need to heat up your whole big oven, but it does everything. It toasts beautifully, bagels, everything. You can cook anything in it. Coffee, very important. So we grind our own beans. Cuisinart, drip style, all we really mainly use and the craft that uh, goes with it. Ever want some amazing, delicious coffee. Kicking horse. 454 horsepower. Oh, I love it. That is absolutely my favorite coffee. So I have a collection of primarily Cutco knives. I've been collecting them for years. They're absolutely worth the price. I've had some of these knives for 30 years and you would never know it. Shh. You always keep the nice, healthy cereal. 
What's in the front? Deep find the healthy, delicious cereal behind. All right, what's in the fridge? Oh, we got some leftover ham here from ham roast. We have some buttermilk because I was trying to make corn dogs. They didn't work out. You eat a lot of eggs. Oh, this is my cold brew coffee maker. And yeah, it's got a cone in there. You just put your beans in and the water. And uh, I'm just gonna let that sit. Cold brew is, oh, so good. Sriracha. I mean, if you can ever get your hand on this stuff. Oh, this is uh, Bob Marley's mom's hot sauce. It's delicious. We have a couple kinds. It is very, very good. Also, this garlic sauce. Oh, this is, it's even better than sriracha. Our freezer is packed. So many, so many things. We got some bagels, a bunch of hamburger, some hamburger buns. I don't know why, because I've been baking bread. Here's some bread I've baked. There's French fries, some sausage patties, chicken breasts. We put some egg rolls back in there and some extra butter. I love this fridge with ice maker. Choose ice crushed ice, filtered ice cold water, and you know, like everyone, we're just sort of making sure we have things in case we can't go out for a couple weeks or longer. You know, we have a lot of stuff. This keg horseradish lights your head on fire. It's delicious. Oh yeah, in Canada, this is, this is the king. KD. It's not mac and cheese. Or craft, it, we used to call it craft dinner, but now it's just KD, and it's different than the American version. And um, I guess because I grew up with it, I think it's way better. At some point, we'll have to do a taste test. Try a Canadian KD versus American craft dinner or American mac and cheese. Oh, here's what we got out for supper tonight: having spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and meat sauce, one or the other. And here's our favorite teapot as the perfect spout. Doesn't spill and it's about 100 years old. This is a painting of a little town where Charmaine grew up and her family at a grocery store. Well, let's go upstairs. It's another piece by John Einerson and another ocean piece also by John Einerson. This one reminds me even more of the west coast of Canada. There's a little sitting area we have upstairs. Buddy's little carrying case when we travel with him or on, on a flight. He likes to just hang out in there when I'm working. It's a nice chair to look outside. And because it's Canada, it's snow covered in snow. It's the middle of April. And this is my office, our office we share. All the videos, I edit them right here. I love the split screen and I use that when I'm editing. And all that is done on this little tiny Lenovo computer. It's a little mini desktop. It's, I love it. And I have so many hard drives. And I love these Bose headphones, the noise cancelling. That's what I use when I'm editing the video. And turn off the sound because sound travels really good in this house because it's a loft. And this is I think our favorite painting. This is an original piece by an artist named Julia. And this is Pansy Puka. Say hello to Pansy. This little rosemary bush that I'll pick away at throughout the year. And it, we managed to keep it alive over the winter. So we'll see how it does in the spring when it's actually spring. Like with no snow. Michelle is very musical and uh, this is the piano that she plays most of the time. She plays lots of different things. She is most passionate about the trumpet. That's Michelle's washroom. Okay, this is Michelle's bedroom. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Can we come in? Sure. You want to show us around? Sure, okay. So this is my room. A little bit of my office area where I like to do my schoolwork. So this is my main laptop. Works really well. Cool. Folded 360. And then this is my Surface. And then my iPad. My old iPhone. My old desk. With my periodic table chart. 
which mm -hmm. helps a lot. Einsteinium is my favorite. <laughs> and this is my TV with my Xbox Very 360. Very nice. Oh, got the Xbox. And then some of my favorite games, Grand Theft Auto 5 and NHL 12. What have you been playing most? Uh, Grand Theft. Yeah, it's the sure. best. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so here is just a little table. And then just a fold box to hold some hair elastics and such. Cool. So my yearbooks, my closet, not much to it. This is my bed. Very comfy. Very mm -hmm. soft. Pillows, teddy bears, and then a little photo thing of my friends. Nice. Keeps me somewhat happy with them. Because I haven't seen them in such a long time. Oh, I'm even in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then my van shoe box. Because I love vans. And then some of my other Disney stuff. And then here, here, this is my dresser, and these are just some of my usual jeweler items, so then I just keep them out. Book. What's this? Lifeguarding book. And oh. My Pandora book. And are you collect Pandora, and what level of lifeguard have you reached? Um, I'm doing Red Cross next, which is one of the last ones. Cool. So, but I have to be 15 to do it, so. Oh. See you there. Hi. You saw Michelle's room. Let's see our room. We've got a little bed for Sassy. She likes to sleep down in there for some reason. She's totally welcome in her bed. Another painting by John Anderson. Just seems to go really well with the blue in this room. And this blue just makes me happy. I know it's blue, like the blues, but it doesn't, it makes me happy. We have a 50 inch and another Apple TV in here, along with this beautiful dresser. This is a king size bed, I need lots of room. And that's where I keep my Kindle and my iPad. Of course, we've got some stairs for the little dogs. This is our washer. Main Tamer, I use that in my mustache. Good product from Calgary. And then I also use this in my beard to really hold it in place. Well, tell me something. Does that look like a drunk octopus looking for a fight? And that's our little monkey. I'm back to the main floor. We have another bathroom over here. It's another awesome painting. Here's our cars, here's our main car, our favorite, Cadillac SRX. And, oh, we love it so much. 20 inch rims. Then we've got the good old Nissan Murano. And we've had this car for many years and it's been one of the best cars we've ever owned. Absolutely love this car. And uh, I have no plans to ever sell it. Chris got our bikes. We got all kinds of kitchen stuff for storage. We probably could have more storage up here. Camping, all kinds of camping gear, that kind of stuff. And recycling. Got a hose so we can actually wash our car in the garage. We've never done it, but we could. Use it for watering plants. And we've got a deep freeze we're not using, so we're just keeping it unplugged. And the precious, precious, I don't know if you ever saw that video with me out in the boat with my friend Peter. That, that's the boat right there inside that big black bag. Okay, let's go to my special place. This is my happy place down here, the man cave.
and welcome to my man cave and my bar. color scheme, well, sort of black and white, gray, sort of as a reminder of the black and white era of films where everything got started. These lights, I like how it looks like a lens. I think this is 150 inches, I don't know, it's really big. And um, yeah, it's only, t it's 1080p. It's not the most expensive projector in the world, but it does a great job. And it's an Optima. I believe I bought this at Costco and uh, it's done a great job. The thing about this basement, it's perfect for a theater. There is no windows, perfectly blacked out. So I don't even need to crank up the brightness on the projector. It looks fantastic. And no theater room, I think, would be complete without some movie posters. So this is some of my collection of movie posters right here. Didn't really go out to buy this this one, but I, it came with a, a group of posters that I bought. Had to buy it as a lot, so heck, it's a great movie. Probably rarest piece that I own. From the original theatrical American release, it is the rated R version. There is an X-rated version somewhere, very rare. I could do a whole video sometime just talking about the relevance of this movie. Of course, Stanley Kubrick, absolute favorite director. This is a very special little poster. This is what you get if you go on the tour of the railway tour in Disneyland and you get to see all the different trains. But I wanna show you the most interesting part because I knew this would be really cool. So if you look, you can see that the track has been changed, but it was before Star Wars, so it was in between. So I gotta say, this is gonna be a rare poster, I think, because anything else would probably show that the Star Wars land in it, but this is just a blank spot. This is my mom's first, only, and last time <laughs> riding Tower of Terror. I think this is in California. Sure, Michelle tricked her, said it wasn't scary. And this is our setup. We have room for five people. One of the things we really wanted were swivel recliners. And that's what we have. So if we want to have people over, we can just hang out. We can push this forward. And we can set up a game. And we can all, all play. And all of these chairs. Oh yeah. That's how you watch a movie. Oh yeah. You want to see what's in the box? All right, I'll show you. This is my record collection. Yeah, a bunch of games there. 
like this. Such a good album. If you like Jack White, this is awesome. Look at that little kiss. Rush. This is a really, I have a big Black Sabbath collection. This one, Live Evil. And, and this was a special promotional copy. Technically, I guess it's not mine. It's supposed to remain property of WEA Music Canada. I think this is what they gave um, radio stations to listen to, program directors. Anyways, yeah. Dang it, should have sold this a few years ago. Oh yeah. Oh. Bye.